Yo, what is good everybody? My name is the Coaster King and today I'm going to be doing a Six Flags Discovery Kingdom 5 year plan talking about new additions for the 2021 to 2025 seasons. Uh, this park for pretty much no reason has gotten a ton of coasters in, in the last couple of years and Six Flags loves to put in huge additions to this park even though it's a smaller park and has a height limit. So I guess it's going to be interesting to, to kind of guess what they're going to be getting. Starting off as usual, everyone knows it. Uh, we're talking about the last five years. 2020, they were supposed to add their Side Wonder Safari, their spinning coaster, but um, that is pretty much confirmed being pushed back. Uh, we're going to get a little bit into that later. So for now, we're going to put nothing for 2020. Uh, 2019, they're going to get Batman They Ride. They got an SS free spin, um, back to back coasters. 2018, they get Harley Quinn Crazy Coaster, which is, um, I don't even know the model, but it's almost like the Larson Super Loop. Um, yeah, so back to back to back coasters. They get 2017, a Frisbee with Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth, and the 2016, an RPC conversion of the Joker. And one year before that, they got um, a Larson Super Loop. I mean, just absolutely an insane five, six years if you look at it. You got the Joker as 2016 with super expensive. Right off, right after that, you go expensive Frisbee and three coasters in a row. That's kind of insane. So um, I guess we'll talk about if I think this is going to continue. Starting off in 2021, as I said before, it's pretty much confirmed that Sidewater Safari is a 2021 ride. Um, they took it off their website and in all the construction photos that I've seen, they've done like pretty much nothing. So I think that it's safe to say that they're going to push this off to 2021 and, you know, consider it to be a, and market it as a 2021 ride um, and not give them anything for that year. Almost like a Magic Mountain kind of screwed over, um, you know, the, those enthusiasts. So I think that's what's going to happen in 2021. They decide, hey, we're going to be, we're putting in this Sidewinder Safari spinning ride that you're supposed to get in 2020, but we're not going to talk to you about that. And yeah. So I think it's time now after what five coasters in the last four year four coasters in the last five years that they get a kids air expansion i mean it's it's you gotta balance it out a little bit right guys i mean seriously but hopefully they listen and they uh, add to the kids area to kind of get some marketability um i also hope that it's somehow themed like safari so they can keep that theme i think that'd be pretty cool um some sort of animal theme with the kids rides and, and stuff like that um, shouldn't be too expensive and hopefully they're saving money after coronavirus and not just putting all their money into this park. Um, yeah, so I think this is what's going to happen in 2022, just a smaller kids area expansion, hopefully themed to something with the safari. 2023, I think they're adding the Justice League Battle for Metropolis Dark Ride. Um, awesome ride. I really like it. I've been on this thing probably 200 times just because I used to operate it and, um, I went on a couple times a day through that. So uh, I think this ride's going to be a great addition to the park. To my knowledge, they do not have a dark ride, so this definitely fills the gap in the lineup. Um, should be an awesome ride, awesome addition to the park, and no complaints about it. But it is an expensive one, and I know and, uh, this is why I'm saying that, because Six Flags loves to put expensive rides into this park. Um, obviously, it fits within the height limit, so this would work perfectly in my opinion. 2024, I think they add a small GCI Woody. Uh, this park does have a very strict height limit that pretty much limits it in every way and makes it a pretty tough, not very good park. But it's okay because uh, they love to put money into it. Um, I think they add a small GCI Woody, almost like a smaller Mystic Timbers, maybe like an Oscar's Wacky Taxi would be a good comparison. Uh, I feel like a GCI Woody would fit definitely, definitely very well in the park. Uh, I don't think they have a, G a Woody. Ever since they took out the Joker, so they took out Roar for the Joker. Um, so I think that this would be a good addition to the park. Uh, obviously, this is another expensive ride. Like all these rides are super expensive, and, and that's just because Six Flags loves to put in money to this park for no reason. I really don't think this is even the top five Six Flags park, but they put probably the most money into it after all the parks, which you know baffles me. But um, they're obsessed with this park. Honestly, so I think that it's time that they can get another roller coaster in 2024 with a GCI Woody. And in 2025, finishing off for a five-year plan, I think they're going to add a thrill ride of some sort. 
this one I've pictured here is a Zimperla Air Race. Uh, they don't have one in the park. That would be a cool addition. They're putting one in at Fiesta Texas this year called Daredevil Dive. I mean, maybe they clone that exactly, just copy and paste it right into this park. Um, these rides are a lot of fun. I've been on one of them, a couple of them, actually, um, and, and definitely should be a good addition for the park. Other flat rides I was thinking they can get was the um, ABC Turbulon, like the Cyborg clones. Uh, those are pretty fun rides. Definitely would fit well into the park. You know, balance out their extreme amount of coasters with good other rides. And then uh, another one possibly would be like the Cyborg at New England. I don't even know what. I think it, Chance Freestyle maybe. I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, so the one at New England, they can probably put that in, and and, and that would be a good throw ride too. That's good, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the video.